Hey guys, Ben here from Further Your Maths. Follow us on Twitter at Further Your Math and check out and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Further Your Maths, for other great videos. Now, today I'm going to be working on an extension of a topic we've previously done, which is matrices. Now, more specifically, the identity matrix and transforming matrices. Let's have a look at the identity matrix. This is what it looks like. And this does the equivalent of timesing a number by one. The answer will always be the original number. So let's show an example. So let's start off the matrices 2, 4, 5, 6. And let's put the identity matrix in. Now, if we work this out, we've got 2 times 1 is 2, plus 4 times 0, which is 0. And we've got 5 times 1 is 5, plus 6 times 0, which is 0. And then we've got 2 times 0, which is 0, plus 4 times 1, which is 4. And then we've got 5 times 0 is 0, plus 6 times 1 is 6. So if we simplify that down, we've just got uh, 2, 4, 5, 6. And as you can say, see, this matrix is the same as the original one. It's showing the identity matrix just times by matrix equals itself. Now, let's show how this can, this can be useful. Say that we've got a graph that looks something like this, with the axes here. We've got a point here, which is 4, four 2. Now, what if we want to enlarge this point? If we've got a shape that goes something like this, we want to enlarge it by a scale factor of 2, so we'd get the shape that I've just drawn. Well, let's start off with writing in 4 and 2 the coordinates, and then let's use our identity matrix. Let's put this in here. So what we're essentially doing when we put the identity matrix in is times it something by one, or as you could also say, making it a scale, drawing a scale factor, of, drawing a new shape with a scale factor of one. So say you wanted to draw a new shape with a scale factor of two. Instead of putting 1s there, put 2s there. Put 2s there. So, and then if we work this out, we'd get 2 times 4 is 8, plus 2 times 0, which is 0. And we'd get 4 times 0 is 0, plus 2 times 2 is 4. If we simplify this down, we've just got 8, 4, which would be the coordinate, the new coordinate with the scale factor of 2, the original coordinate. So that's how you enlarge using matrices. You replace the ones in the identity matrix with the scale factor. So you've got a scale factor of 7, replace ones with 7s. If you've got a scale factor of 76, you replace the ones with 76s. If you've got a scale factor of a half, so you're making it smaller. Place the ones with a scale factor of a half. Now let's talk about another type of transformation. So, right now, here if I draw one now, we've got a graph that looks like this. We've got the point again, 4, 2. And then, say, once to rotate it 90 degrees clockwise, we'll get a point here of 2 minus 4. We've rotated it 90 degrees clockwise. Now, transformation matrix. What what would we use? What matrices would we use? So let's work it out. So we start off with the matrix, times it by 4, 2, and then we get we somehow get 2 minus 4. So we've got to work out the matrix at the start. So what would we times what would we times 4 by to get 2? Well, Nothing, we just ignore it. And then we would times 2 by to get 2, 1. And then what What would we times 4 by to get minus 4, minus 1? Then we just ignore the 2. So that's the matrices that we'd use. This is the matrices here. We times a coordinate by to rotate it 90 degrees clockwise. Now say you wanted to rotate it 270 degrees clockwise or 90 degrees anti-clockwise. You'd get a point kind of um, here-ish. Minus two four. Let's do what the same as we did, the same as we did just. 
it's got a major season there. They've got original point, which is 4 2. And then we somehow get um, minus 2, 4. So, what's the matrices we have at the start? What's the matrix we've got to have at the start? So, what do we times 4 by to get minus 2? Well, we just ignore it if it's 0 in there. What do we times 2 by to get minus 2? Minus 1. What do we times 4 by to get 4? 1. And we just ignore the 2. So, match the matrix we'd use, or we times a coordinate by, to rotate a point 270 degrees clockwise, or 90 degrees anticlockwise. Now let's move on to the final one, which is this point here, which is minus 4, minus 2, which is rotating at 180 degrees, same anticlockwise or clockwise, or you could say that you're reflecting it through the, through, through the, um, through the line y equals minus x. So now, how do we... Let's, let's work, do what we've just done to work out what matrix we need to use to do that. So we start off with our matrix we need to work out. Then we've got our original point 4, 2. We've got to get to minus 4, minus 2. So what do we times 4 by to get minus 4, minus 1? What do we times 2 by, we just ignore it. What do we times 4 by to get minus 2? We just ignore it. And what do we times 2 by to get minus 2, minus 1? So the match, that's the matrices that we'd use to rotate something by 180 degrees or reflect it in the line y equals minus x. Um, so that's all you need to remember. It'd be useful to remember all these matrices, all these transformation matrices, but if you can't, just use examples in your head to work out how to do it and you, you know, see, remember them as best you can. Now one thing you do need to know is how to combine these transformation matrices. So say we wanted to enlarge a point, we wanted to enlarge a point by 2 and then rotate it 90 degrees clockwise. So we worked out here that the matrices you need to use to enlarge it by 2 is 2, 0, 0, 2. So we can put that in. And then we wanted to rotate it 90 degrees clockwise. And then we worked out in this one, that that's the matrices you need to use. 0, 1, minus 1, 0. And to work out the matrices that you need to use to enlarge them by 2, then rotate it 90 degrees clockwise, you just time these two matrices. So you'd end up getting 2 times 0 is 0, and 0 times minus 1 is 0. And then 0 times 0 is 0, add 2 times minus 1 is minus 2, and then 2 times 1 is 2, 0 times 0 is 0, and then 0 times 1 is 0, and then 2 times 0 is 0. So if we simplify that down, what I've got is 0, 2, minus 2, 0. And that's the matrix, this is the matrices here that you need to use to enlarge them from my two then rotate it 90 degrees clockwise. So that's how you that's how you combine two transformation matrices to form one, which does several transformations. So thanks very much. Thanks a lot for watching. Um, that's a lot of information to take in. Feel free to watch the video as many times as you like. Use the bookmarks on the topic page to skip to bits that you struggle with most. And best of all, good luck with transforming matrices. Um, and remember, if you have any requests for any videos or that we want to do on top that you want us to do on topics that you particularly struggle with, then just message us on YouTube, and we'll see if we can do those videos for you. Well, thanks a lot for watching, and good luck with transforming matrices.